Hello YouTube. This is going to be a quick video about um, how to fix some damaged car paint. So today I'm working on a Mitsubishi Lancer as you can see. Uh, this paint is okay, the roof is okay, but when you go down here, you can see the difference of the colour because it is usually caused by sun and you're exposing the car to the sun for a certain period of time and without any proper waxing and stuff. So apparently someone has worked on this car and um, so it's going to be a quick fix to get some more market value. When you go to the driver's store actually, you can see the clear the difference of the old paint and the new paint. It's a little bit hard to get on the camera because of the silver colour. It's a little bit hard to pick up on the cameras and also on the it's a bonus strip and you can clearly see the peeling paint so they all need to be sanded down painted back so this is something you can do at home so it's going to be a quick video I'm, I'm going to go through all the process each step by step so let's go ahead see how this goes so the first thing you need to do is give it a good wash So once you're done with the washing, so the next next step is to um, sand the car. So for this, you can use the sandpaper. So I'm going to go ahead with um, 240 grit. It's a normal size sandpaper, and to get a good um, backing, you can use a little backing pad like this. They're two or three dollars. You can buy all these from paint shops, so it's very cheap. I'm going to wrap this four lit into four, and get one part and wrap it in around the back in pad this will give me a good flat surface to so let's go ahead and see get all the sanding done. It's a good idea to get a damp top like this and as you sand it keep the water on the surface Okay, now I have finished um, sanding. So once you finish sanding, your car should look something like this. So all these little dots are used to be the high spots. So now we all flatten down to one single surface. Now see down here, they're all just very flat now. And there's a little tip, especially uh, when you spray painting a panel where there's a door. So if you don't mask up the edges. This can happen, so this is probably the person who did the previous job, the paint job on this car. So this little edge of paint, old paint and new paint, goes all the way along the, the door mouldings. So you don't want this to happen. So you want to start masking from this corner and goes backwards. Or you're going to pull these um, rubber mouldings off and just paint the entire section. By that way, you can avoid having these uh, lines of paint like this. Okay, now it's time to masking up the car. So, I'm going to use some um, newspaper, old newspaper for this. Um, masking off the car. So when you do masking, you have to make sure that you have very clean edges, as you can see. Otherwise, once you start peeling off all this uh, paper, once the painting is done, you will have your rough edges. So, so that's how you mask a car. So this part is done, and we're gonna start priming now. So I have used the uh, industry standard DIY industry standard garbage bags. You know what I mean. Now here's a little tip. So before you apply your primer, it's a good idea to uh, give it a good wipe with some wax and grease mover. So this will help uh, taking off any residues uh, from previous wax or any paint coating. So that's a good idea. And also, 
uh, when you're using this uh, spray can, it's a good idea to give, um, just uh, wash the can with some hot water, so that will help um, increasing the pressure inside. It's just a um, little physics, so you'll get a bit more paint out of the can, means the paint, uh, paint level inside the can is going really low. And also it will help uh, give you a good uh, spray pattern as well. So now we have done all the prep work, so it's now to apply the first coat. The first coat, coat will be a primer. The primer is usually helping the paint to stick better onto the surface you try to paint on. So there are two selections. So if you the, the panel you're painting is plastic, it's a good idea you can use some plastic addition um, primer. So and also if the plastic panels have a lot of scratches, you can use a filler uh, primer. So you can feel it feel it better. So just to make it much smoother because the panel that we are painting is um, steel. I mean the body panels. I'm going to use a um, surface primer, this, this is for uh, metal, so I'm going to go ahead with this one. So let's see how it goes. Okay, now we have finished applying three coats of primer. Now it's time to sand this down to a much uh, smoother surface so you can uh, start painting. So for this, I'm going to use some, uh, you can use 800. Uh, if, you, if you feel like uh, this stuff, the primer is not really going to come off very easily with 800, you can lower the grid size like 600 or work, work your way down. Uh, for this job, you can start off with 800, but uh, depending on how many jobs you have done using sandpapers. But for me, I'm gonna go straight into uh, 240, so it's gonna take stuff much quicker. So you always you wanna make sure that you just dump it in the water, just make it damp, and just get a backing pad, just wrap it around it, and get a good flat surface, and keep going. So when you get to places like this where there's a little curve, so just take your um, sandpaper by itself into your hand, just uh, do, it, do it by hand so you can get the contours right, like that. So now it's time to uh, apply the paint, so this is base coat and this has to be color matched, so you, um, get a paint job, uh, you can get a paint job and uh, get your color coat. It's usually located on the side of your doors, door panels, um, get the color code, get the paint mixed up and get it into a can. So this is usually like um, 20 to 30 dollars for a, a can depending on where you buy them. So give it a good shake as a first thing and let's go start painting.
So if you notice the lower half of the door is um, doesn't need to be painted and this part need to be painted so I haven't masked this off so what you need to do is dusting so you don't go too deep further down so that's how you do, do dusting so the idea here is to blend the paint into the old paint so that's how you do blending okay so I have done two cross of paint this is what the car looks like now and between each coat so you had to wait for like uh, 10 to 15 minutes for the first coat to dry and that's a little tip so when you're using uh, spray cans you gotta make sure that you maintain a constant speed uh, when you're spraying like this if you wanna stay too long in one spot if you get a paint run like this you don't want that to happen because it's gonna be really hard to get off so you always maintain a constant paint speed that so you don't get any paint runs. That's a little tip. So before you apply the third coat, you gotta re be really careful of the, the spots that you might have missed from the first two um, paint coats. So always look for um, the, the difference of, of shades on the panel. So in here, I don't know if I can get this in the camera, I can see a little bit of uh, light and dark spot uh, between the panels, between the paint uh, coat. So that means I need a little bit more paint on this particular uh, spot. Like that. So now I have finished applying three coats of um, paint. So now it's time to apply the, the final clear coat. So before you do that, just uh, get a dry rack like this. Uh, it's better if you can grab a uh, microfiber towel and get a good wipe. And especially um, in those areas where you try to blend the paint into the 16 panels. And in this uh, step, some people like to do um, get some wax and grease remover into a rack and just to give it a good wipe. But I wouldn't recommend that because sometimes the, the wax and grease remover residue can um, stay on the panels. And once you start applying your clear, clear coat, those mere marks can come up, so it's going to be visible. So it has happened to me before, so I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to get a good clean towel and give it a good wipe, so the, all the surfaces will be ready to paint with clear coat. So let's go see how it goes. Okay, now we got the clear coat. So I'm using a card spec brand uh, acrylic, uh, acrylic clear coat and give it a good shake. That's the first thing, and you start applying. So the tec technique will be similar. That you have before, so just um, keep moving, don't stay for one spot longer, otherwise, you will make paint fines. to apply into the unpainted area because you need to blend that party. You want to make sure that you're overlapping each path by 50% to get a good coverage and when you go further down you're going to start dusting again like don't go too deep you want to dust like that just light dusting when you come back up again make your margin slower so you start getting a good coverage again make sure you cover the edges and that's enough for the first coat so we'll let this dry for like another 15 minutes then come back after that after that so if you look down, this uh, the freshly painted panels is not going to be as shiny as the rest of the car. That is because we need to uh, buff this paint. 
and I'm not gonna go through all this in this video because I've already done another video about how to paint a car using spray cans and how to buck it to a good shine. So I'll put a link uh, below in this video so you can go ahead and check that out. And um, so for this video, that's it, and we've done. So now this guy got some market value so you can sell it for a higher price. So this is how you uh, fix the car with uh, peeling paint or some damaged paint. Alright, so I'm gonna treat. So we've done three coats of clear and it's time to take off all the masking. Just be careful, just be gentle when you're taking off the masking. Okay, so now I have finished uh, polishing. Okay, it's looking good again. And particularly where we bring the paints. And now it's start to become shiny. You can actually uh, slightly see the camera that's reflecting in there. And you can't really tell the difference of uh, these three painted panels. So this is the area with the painted colors. So, this area used to be like totally sun damaged, the paint was entirely peeled off. And that was how we started and this is how we finished. Good results, very happy. So that's how you paint a car with um, sun damaged paint. So thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, press the like button and if you want to see more DIY stuff like this, you can consider subscribing to my channel. I'll see you in the next video.